I've got an official speech, which I'll cover in a minute here, but I want to say it's a real pleasure to be here. It's uh, just everything, including even the weather cooperates. It's just fantastic. So thank you again, Bahir. Your Excellencies, Minister Malay, Hafid El Alami, Minister of Industry, Trade, Investment, and Digital Economy of Morocco, distinguished ministers and heads of delegations of guest countries, Secretary Generals of International and Regional Organizations, President of the Marrakesh Region, His Excellency Ahmad Akshin the Wali and the Wali of Marrakesh, thank you all. His Excellency Mohammed Mufakir, sorry about that, distinguished guests and our dear friends and colleagues in the ICANN ISTAR community. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all to ICANN 55, and particularly to this beautiful city of Mar Marrakesh and welcome and express our sincere gratitude for His Majesty King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco for his patronage for our ICANN 55 meeting this week. This reflects on the high priority the Kingdom of Morocco places on the development of information and communications technology, and I'm glad to welcome you all in Marrakesh. I would also like to thank our host, His Excellency Minister Malay Havid El Alami, and his distinguished colleagues, along with Director General Aziz Almansur Bilali, Bilal, sorry, and the National Telecoms Authority and the local organizing committee for these excellent hosting facilities. I would also like to mention our ICANN stakeholders in Morocco who have been helpful in the preparation of this event. Our presence today in such high numbers of governments, civil society, and business attendees reflect our sincere commitment to Africa and to the wider developing countries since this meeting comes at the crossroads of a historical moment of the future of governance structures for ICANN. This high-level government meeting will be the largest of its type that ICANN has ever hosted. More than 170 ministers and high-level government representatives are attending. I also want to express my appreciation to our very gracious hosts. Without their hard work and long hours, we would not be here now. I have to tell you that uh, in my prior life, I have spent a similar kind of work putting meetings together, and it is an extraordinary amount of effort over a very long period of time. It takes a lot to organize these meetings, as I've said, and I want to recognize one person in particular who has been a driving force of making ICANN 55 come together, our friend Aziz Halali, President of the Mediterranean <laughs> Federation of Internet. Where, where is Aziz? Stand up. Stand up. Turn around. I gather from this that Aziz has personally paid each of you to show up here. <laughs> it's been a decade, 10 years, since ICANN last held a meeting in this beautiful city, and it's great to be back. For those of you who know me, I generally try to avoid words like historic or momentous, but in the case of ICANN 55, these have the potential of ringing true. What happens in the coming week could well mark a significant point in ICANN's history, and that history is really being written by you. I'm referencing, of course, the IANA stewardship transition proposal and the uh, parallel one to enhance ICANN's accountability, which will, I believe, be sent to the U.S. government at the conclusion of this week, if everything comes together as planned. When that occurs, it will take us to the final leg of a journey that was first envisioned when ICANN was formed in 1998. That work has, the work that has gone into these proposals is nothing short of remarkable. Other words have sometimes been used. A testament to the time and commitment of the community. Let me give you some numbers since at heart, we really are a technical coordination body. What are the numbers? 434 meetings and calls, over 32,000 mailing list exchanges, and more than 720 working hours. For those of you who are not into numbers, the translation is extremely simple. 
we're exhausted. <laughs> so let me ask that you join me in acknowledging the people who have made this happen, that is, yourselves. So with that, a big applause for everybody here and for everybody around the world. Now, I know all of you have been following the process in exquisite detail, but for those few who haven't, we have a, uh, a labyrinth of processes related to how these proposals are put together. And at the moment, the accountability proposal has uh, been delivered by the uh, CCWG, the Cross-Community Working Group on Accountability, and the chartering organizations are uh, taking a very close look at it. Uh, at last count, I saw that three of the six chartering organizations had signed off on it, and the work that is undergo underway uh, fervently and urgently yesterday, today, tomorrow, and so forth uh, will be the remainder of the process. And as chairman of the board, I'm looking forward very much to having uh, an acceptance and uh, for the board to express its approval uh, toward the end of this week. So that will be, from my point of view, the uh, most important thing that's going to happen here. Of course, that process of bringing the proposals up from the community and uh, bringing together is the first step, not the last step in a process. Once these proposals are uh, in our hands, we will forward them to the National Telecommunications and Information uh, Administration of the U.S. Department of Commerce, and we hope that NTI will find these proposals acceptable and in accordance with the bold and very sensible ground rules that NTI announced almost exactly two years ago on the 14th of March in 2014. That's when NTI asked ICANN to convene the international global uh, internet community to formulate transition proposals. Let me make clear that the board fully expects to endorse these proposals and forward them uh, without delay and with our uh, complete commitment to not only the acceptance of the proposals, but to the rapid implementation of them. <laughs> These proposals will usher in a new era of independence and global accountability of ICANN. Let me emphasize that we're not done yet. This is, uh, will be an extremely important juncture at this meeting, and then we still have quite a lot of time and work that will go on uh, in multiple quarters, including, of course, within the U.S. government. When all of that is complete, the real transition will have taken place. So with all of that, it's now my great honor to introduce Morocco's Minister of Industry, Trade, Investment, Digital Economy, Mr. Malay Hafid El Alami, who did not spare any efforts to make our meeting successful this is a truly great man of many accomplishments, and it's been my pleasure to meet with him more than once here, and uh, I look forward to doing so many times in the future.